G'day everyone, Brian here. In 2016, the Neil Morse Band released this album, The Similitude of a Dream. Some of you might, that might be ringing a bell for some of you rather. This is based on Pilgrim's Progress. And the first song is titled, It's Been a Long Day. Well, that's the opening phrase of the album. It's been a long day. Well, we're in Mark chapter six, and here we find if anybody could say, today's been a long day, it's Jesus. The day began with him wanting to spend time with his disciples, but that was taken away when the crowd gathered. And so Jesus spent time teaching the crowds. Now teaching can be an exhausting business. And having, te- ta- having taught the crowds, the disciples said, send them away so they can go and get something to eat. And Jesus said, no, you feed them. They found some loaves and fish. And Jesus gave thanks and shared that amongst 5,000 people. And then sent the people away. And he sent his disciples away too. He made them get back in the boat and go on ahead of him to Bethsaida while he dismissed the crowd. It's been a long day. And what does Jesus do at the end of a long day? I'm glad you asked. Here's what we find Mark chapter 6 verse 46. After leaving them, he went up on a mountainside to pray. After leaving them, he went up on a mountainside to pray. There are so many things to learn from the example of Jesus in how he handles crowds, his compassion, in how he handles religious bullies, his confrontation, in how he handles the outcast and his welcome. And how does he handle things at the end of a long day? Sitting down to watch an hour of Netflix? No. Enjoying a long walk, a sail across the lake? No. He went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. There are times in our weariness that the best thing we can do is to pray. Well, we're reaching the end of November. And we can say of 2020, well, it's been a long year. What are you going to do with that? Are you going to be glad that it's over? Or will you have the opportunity to pray? Pray in thankfulness for what's been happening through the year. And pray for what has happened that it might bear good fruit. I don't know what Jesus prayed for on the mountain that night. But I have a sense that that time for him alone with God the Father was essential. If it was essential for Jesus, I expect it might be so for us too. Have a great day today, and I'll see you next week. Enjoy the weekend. Come and join us at church on Sunday online if you can. Bye-bye.